Hey guys, this is a uh, quick video on how to remotely install a FTP server on your server from anywhere in the world using the VNC. So the first thing you want to do is check out my VNC program. Once that's done, get to this one. Okay, now you got to go to um, Google and uh, get a FileZilla. It's FTP server client solution. It's awesome. So we go down here and we go server download. We go download this. Now once this is downloaded, we also have to configure your port forwarding ports on your router so you can access your FTP server from anywhere in the world. Okay. Get this downloaded. And now uh, we'll start configuring after we start downloading it. So I'll let that go. Okay, so while that's downloading, we'll get to our port porting on our router. So we go to our router. One's already saved there. We'll always save the password username and that kind of stuff. So we want to go to advanced. This is on a dial link for TPG, so you can do whatever you want with your um, router you have from your service provider or the one you bought, e.g., Belkin, D Link, something like that. So virtual server. I want to go to port 40. I want to go add. And you go use it to find. And we go FTP. And then internal host address for this one. Got to go to your server, command prompt. I'm going to go IP config or slash all. Bang, it'll come up. Just chuck the IP address in that's there. So that's what you want to give away your router or your stack for your IP address assigned. Most FTP solutions will run over port 21, but you can change it to say like hackers and shit like that, so you don't want that. So I always run on port 30. Okay, once that's run on port 30, you go apply. That's pretty much it. It's pretty easy to do port forwarding on your router. Okay, well, that's still downloading because my net connection is so shit today. I'll um, we'll just show you what to download for a remote VNC. So just go VNC in Google. And you want to install real VNC once that's installed. Um, you want to start, you want to um, install it as a service. So you install it as a service, and that's how I'm running mine at the moment. So I'm right controlling my server from my PC at home. Okay, once you've done that, you need to go back to your router and you want to port forward some more ports so you can remote control your PC from anywhere in the world. This is pretty cool. So we go VNC. Internal ISO, same one as before. And it's 5800. And then do 5900 as well. Done. So once that's done, um, you'll be able to remote control your PC and FTP from anywhere in the world. Okay, another thing, there's one called Dynamic DYN DNS. I can't remember the full name for it. Yeah, Dynamic DNS. So you have to register your WAN IP address with Dynamic DNS, and you can give your computer from home a um, a name instead of a IP address. So instead of going up here or with your type VNC and, and uh, when you launch the admin client, instead of connecting by IP address, you can connect, connect by name. So make an account with them. Okay, there we go. It took me, can I just download that? So once you download that, double click, agree, yes, yes. That's your administration port, so it's only when you log in locally or through Telnet or whatever. Yes, yes, yes. Let this install so that's done. So one twenty seven dot zero zero to one is your local IP address coming from the client. So it would be one ninety two dot one six eight dot zero. Sorry, one ninety two dot one six eight dot one dot five, but because you're doing it locally you just put in one two seven dot zero zero to one. And then password you want in there. 
Okay, bang. This is my server. Go on there. Create a user. So we go over here. Add. We go. Admin. No groups. No groups. No groups. Yet. We have password. What's that password in there? Share folders. So you get add. And want the whole drive. And it says a home drive. I'm be able to do it all the things I can do to this drive. So from anywhere, write, upload, download, all that kind of stuff. So once it's done, get OK. Now before you know how we went on to um, our router, you can see here, and it's got FTP, port 30. This is the forward address, so this is the address that your server is going to be forwarding on to. So in here you put 30 there. So 30 in there. Concurrent connections to put heaps there because who really cares about that unless you're gonna don't want many people to access your net. So you go okay there. So the sockets changed, so that means the ports changed. And then once that's done, it should pretty much be configured to work. Now you have to do that. That's just to share the one folder. Okay, so once that's done, we're ready to use the client. So there we go, it's forward port 30. This is only internal test. Um, this will work externally because you've already bought four of those addresses. So then we we'll go get out of that and you download any um, FTP client you want. Either it can be core FTP, free FTP, file FTP, whatever. I've um, got core FTP client because it's easy to use and um, all that kind of stuff. There we go. So home, whatever you want to call it, let's call it next. Um, server. And that's the IP address. Now, if you're connecting over the WAN, over the internet from somewhere else in the world, you want to put your dynamic DNS name in there. So, mine would be um, that would be mine. But because I'm accessing mine from the LAN, I don't put in that. I put in like that. And the admin is the username that I specified and the password is specified. Make sure you have port 30 because it's port 30 that you port forwarded and that your firewall is loading through. Once that's done, um, pretty much you go connect. You go connect, blah, 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 open ports, and then on the left um, hand side, you'll have all where you want to copy it to. And on the right hand side is all the drives that you have available to download stuff to. So this is just a test. We want to put Apache web server onto our C drive. We'll start downloading, lights, bang, done. There you go. That's a pretty easy introduction to remote VNC over the LAN and WAN with core FTP and file FTP server with all the ports configured and the port porting done. There you go. Catch us later.